enjoy my adventurous coders. Hope you've had a dazzling holiday season. Today, we're crafting a map system that's as mesmerizing as it is efficient. Get ready for an exhilarating ride. In this quest, we'll show you how to use Python with RenPy to optimize your code and avoid repetitions. Follow us step by step to master this exciting technique. If you need assets, I found great ones on Itch.io and Open Game Art. Take a look, I've added a few favorites in the description for you. Thank you Pachapachi for your finds. And don't forget, the code is available for free on Itch.io. Don't hesitate to download it to test directly in a Renpai project. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, we are here to help you. Now let's start this exciting quest, my dear adventures. And there we go. Now that the resources are placed, we're ready to open our magical script. Dear Code Adventures, before we dive into our epic quest, it's essential to lay the foundations of our journey. And it starts with controlled variables. Think of these variables as magical switches that can open or close the doors to mysterious dungeons. In our case, they control the access to locations on our map. Extraordinary. See these little padlocks? Default location on underscore unlock equals false means that the first lock is in H. Default is a magical coding formula that declares a global variable, something that our entire world can see and use. By setting it to false, we are saying the door is closed for now, waiting for our heroes to prove their bravery to open it. Then why do we need these variables you ask? To keep the suspense. We don't want our players to rush to the final boss without enjoying the adventure, right? These variables are the guardians of our story, ensuring that each step of the quest is revealed in due time. Now that we have our control variables, it's time to map our world. In programming, a map is often a set of data, and for our quest, we use a special collection called a dictionary. Each place on our map is described by a dictionary, a kind of treasure chest that contains all the necessary information. Take a good look. We have the name, which is the name of the place, unlocked to indicate if the place is accessible, and paths to images for when our heroes are alert or resting. Precision is key. X align and Y align allow us to position each place precisely on our map. Like placing our troops on the battlefield, each value here dictates where and how the buttons will appear on the screen. It's like a construction game. We combine pieces to create each location. And the beauty of dictionaries is that they are flexible. We can add, remove, or change details without disturbing the rest of the structure. And let's not forget the fun. With these dictionaries, we can make super cool transitions between scenes. We can even add special effects to make each arrival a triumphant entrance. Dictionaries are our allies in building captivating universes. With them, we write the narrative of our world. 
bringing each chapter to life with creativity and precision. Each location becomes a character in the story we weave together. My noble companions, every king or queen needs a map to navigate through their kingdom. And here is our noble button, a royal invitation to contemplate our world in a single click. You've got a big surprise coming to you. <laughs> what the f*** that? Observe this noble command, screen show on the score screen map. It's a banner that summons the map. And this fringe structure, it holds our button in place right at the top right of our screen, always ready for our next strategic move. The alignment X align 1.0 and Y align 0.0 is our way of precisely positioning our banner. A text button in its center calls the heroes to action. With an X align and Y align of 0.5, it proudly rests in the middle of our frame. And the best for last, my friends, the action show map on the score screen. Height show on the score screen map is our spell of transition. With a whisper, we reveal the map and hide this button, plunging our players into mystery and discovery. And there you have it. It's like a game of find me if you can. We show and hide. We jump and slide all thanks to a bit of clever programming and a lot of imagination. Ready for the adventure, heroes? Press show the map and let the party begin. Who knows what unexplored lands await us? Let's go together. As in a military operation, efficiency and organization are essential. This map screen, map underscore screen, is the command center of our navigation. Thanks to Mobile True, demands the total attention of our players, like an urgent quest. The minimap added with hat images slash minimap.png serves as the background for our playground. Now let's prepare the portals, our location buttons. Instead of manually placing each button, which would be tedious, we deploy a more astute strategy, a full loop. For each location in our treasure of locations dictionaries, we execute a series of commands. Yeah, really?
Thanks to this magical loop we ask, is this place unlocked? If unlocked is true bad, a button appears with the idle resting image and hover image. And if you click, you're transported to the scene of the location with the jump action. And for places still out of reach, another button appears with a locked image. It's like saying, you can't enter yet, but continue your quest. I understand. This is where the real party starts. Each button is a door to the unknown, an invitation to adventure. This loop is our choreography, a dance of discovery that keeps us all on the edge of our seats. Return to the main story. A simple text button return brings you back to the safety of our home screen. It's like having a thread of Ariadne, always ready to guide you home after an exhilarating adventure. Before closing our strategic session, remember that our arsenal is not limited. If we want to add new territories to explore, it's enough to insert new location dictionaries into our locations collection. That's the beauty of our loop. It adapts and grows with our map. By simply adding more entries to locations, our for loop will integrate them effortlessly. We could have two, ten, or even a hundred places without needing to rewrite our strategy. It's like forging a sword that strengthens with every new battle. And guess what? More locations mean more parties. Our code is a ballroom scene, ready to welcome all guests without ever running out of space. It's a symphony where each new location is a note added to our melody. And for you brave coders, this means fewer headaches. Less code to write. Fewer chances of making mistakes and if an error slips in, it's much easier to find and correct. It's like having a grimoire that writes new enchanting stories by itself endlessly. Yeah. And here we are at the heart of our tale. The start label. This is where everything begins in our script. Label start is like opening an old grimoire filled with spells to cast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah! Mm -hmm. Show screen, show on the score screen map is our incantation to make our map appear before the amazed eyes of our players. They can see all the locations, but our spell still holds them back. In our noble quest, we sometimes have to wait before the pads open. Locations are locked, but map is visible. It tells our players that although the map is there, the secrets it contains remain hidden for now.
But don't worry, for patience is rewarded. Location one underscore unlocked equals true. And location two underscore unlocked equals true are the dance steps that unlock our locations. One by one, they light up, ready to be explored. And with a thumbs up and an unlock one and unlock two, we share a moment of triumph with our players. It's a celebration of discoveries, a fireworks display of joy with each new unlocking. After revealing our hidden lands, Return gently takes us back to our main menu, like a feather falling back to earth after dancing in the sky. Every adventure has a beginning and an end, and in our script, each return is a doorway to new possibilities. When our travelers click on an unlocked location, they are transported here, to the corresponding scene. You have arrived at location 1 is just the beginning of their story at this place. Each scene in our locations dictionary is a key to open these storybooks. If you add more locations to your map, don't forget to create a scene for each one, a new episode to captivate your players. Each location in our world has its own story, and this is where we tell them. Label location 1 underscore scene, and label location to underscore scene are like portals to distinct chapters of our adventure. Imagine each return has a jump through a magical portal always bringing us back to our starting point, ready for our next adventure. Each location is a world unto itself full of surprises and discoveries. It's a matter of precision and consistency. Make sure the name of your label matches exactly the scene value in your dictionary. It's the link that binds your map to the story you're telling. And there you have it dear friends of code. We've journeyed together through the path of maps and locations from variables to scenes. Remember, every line of code is a step in your quest, every function an adventure. May your stories be as vast and wondrous as the world you create. Dear Code Adventures, if you enjoyed our journey into the world of game development with Renpei, show us some love. Press the like button to make our quest shine. And don't forget to subscribe for free to this wonderful YouTube channel to join our growing family of gang creators and be informed when the next quest is available. Also follow us on social media to stay informed of our latest adventures. We share tips and preview the upcoming quests that are in preparation. And if you have questions or ideas for our next escapades, leave a comment below. We love to hear your thoughts and suggestions. Your feedback is the wind beneath our wings. Ready for more magic and coding? Stay tuned, as each video is a gateway to a new world of creativity and innovation. Together, let's build incredible games and share stories that will resonate across cyberspace. Thank you for watching, and remember, Behind every line of code, there's an adventure waiting. See you soon in our next programming quest. Goodbye.